All right, let's go. Three, two, one. Hey there, welcome back to another. <clears throat> who? It's another progress report. Now, if you don't know what this is, go watch the first one. Basically, I just track everything I'm doing each week. Uh, this year, I'm trying to consume as much media as possible because it's what I really love. So, video games, film, TV, literature, all of the above is included. are included. So, honestly, I didn't make too much progress, especially when you compare this week to the last week. Even though last week's video did have like a couple weeks kind of combined together, uh, still not as much progress as I'd like, but a lot of stuff going on. It's hard me just finding hour intervals to do stuff now with how much stuff I have to do because I'm doing schoolwork, then I have to go to school, which I commute to. It takes like an hour to get there, an hour to get back. That's five days a week, uh, four days a week, and then I work three days a week. Uh, I also have an online course, and I'm doing these videos, I have to edit the videos. Yeah, time is very limited as a result. I'm actually going to be doing some editing for a program at my school as well, so it's even more time. But it's cool, I kind of like having all this stuff going on at once. There's something cool about it at the same time. Though I would like to do more, watch more, stuff like that, but... So, this week... My family and I, we really like watching Survivor, and they always want to watch a an old season we haven't seen when the show is not currently on. Common misconception about like Survivor and Big Brother kind of get bashed in with reality shows, which do have a bad connotation to them. But Survivor, Big Brother, Amazing Race are like the holy trinity when it comes to reality TV. Those are the ones you you aim for. The other ones you pretty much steer clear of. And also the new Celebrity Apprentice, which I'll just say I watched an episode of that because it's a one episode a week, so obviously. That one's good also, but that is a bit more corny, especially now with Arnold Schwarzenegger. But yeah, I definitely give Survivor a shot because it's actually like real strategy and it's actually a really intelligent game. Same with Big Brother when you really get into it and think about the gameplay and strategy and everything. It's really cool. Uh, but honestly, it's just kind of... it's people are put off by it because it's a reality show so but anyway what we watched one episode of survivor africa because why not i don't know when we're gonna watch the next episode there's really any time yeah this show is really how how very little i've watched this week also on top of this i watch youtube videos so that takes up some time too but even those i haven't watched many of this week the only other show I watched is vikings which was the season finale which is great that was a really good finale I'm excited to see where the show goes from here. Honestly, I wish more people I knew watched the show so I could talk about it with them. But it's like the same with Hell in My Twenties, where I basically have no one to talk to it with about. And yeah, that's it for shows. And I didn't watch any new movies this week. I'm actually going to be watching a movie very soon, like if not tonight, in the next couple of days, because my online course is actually requiring, it's like a a little assignment we have to do based on watching a movie. So I'm going to watch a new movie so I can get knock one out there. So video games are the only other thing. I didn't, haven't read any of the book either, which is very disappointing. What has taken up the majority of my time is Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. This I've done a few chapters of. As I said before, I've made good progress on it in the past. I've restarted it so many times, but I just never actually finished it. So I'm hoping to hunker down and actually finish it. There are a lot of chapters, so it will be a long journey, especially with the limited amount of progress I can make at a time. Because I, for the most part, I can only really do one chapter at a time at most in one sitting because I'm very limited on time, like I said. But yeah, that's really cool. I, I really enjoy that game. It can be frustrating at times just trying to keep everyone alive, but oh, it's so good. So good. I also should mention that I did play Tetris Worlds with my brother. Um, that was just multiplayer mode, though. No, pr no real progress on anything. Uh, I, I will say that I won overall against my brother there, so I am the Tetris master in the household. I honestly am pretty good at Tetris, so I want to get back into it. I was really into it for a long time, and then I kind of fell out of it. And then we just played this randomly because it was the random one that was picked. And the other game... 
I'm actually going to have two games going on at once. I kind of mentioned this in the last video, the possibility of doing a simulation game alongside the main game at all times. And so I decided to go with Harvest Moon Animal Parade. I actually compiled a list. I was going through my video game collection and just realizing how many Harvest Moon games I really have. And I haven't beaten a single one despite loving the series so much. So... Harvest Moon Animal Parade is one I really enjoyed. I did make decent progress back in the day when I first played it. Uh, and I'm going to try to actually finish it. Who knows how that's going to go. You'll get to see how that goes throughout the year. But I only did the first day because that actually took up a lot of my time just going through meeting people. And again, it's going to be a very slow journey. I'm hoping to try to alternate between Fire Emblem and Harvest Moon so I don't get too bored with either one. We'll see how that goes though. Because it could just become a thing where I get really invested in one and then don't want to play the other too much. So that's where it becomes problematic. But yeah, that's pretty much all for this week, honestly. So you'll notice there's not a TV show I've been working on. Viking Celebrity Apprentice. Those are just kind of ones that came out weekly. And now Vikings is done. That was only one, one episode a week anyway. It's done until the next season. The Celebrity Apprentice is almost in the season finale as well, so I'm actually going to, I got to start working on my next, like, show that's not currently going on. That will most likely be Sword Art Online because I was already 17 or so episodes in from last year and I just kind of got distracted and I'd like to wrap that up before moving on to others if possible. So it will likely be Sword Art Online. Hopefully I can make some progress in the next week. I'm not really sure though. And I'd like to always watch some more movies. Some more anime would be nice. Uh, maybe read some more of that book. Like I said, just trying to get in as much as I can. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you've been watching, playing, reading anything. I'd love to hear about it. Bye!